everybody and welcome to another video today we haven't done a video like this in ages like just sat in the car me talking to you guys so why, why not do another one like that why not get back in the car and talk to you guys in here well that lady the old lady was gonna cross i didn't have enough time to slow down and she literally shook her head at me it's not a crossing she stuck a stick out and everything anyway the reason why i wanted to go for a drive with you guys today is because this video is going to be what my feelings are on owning the well owning the after, aftermarket exhaust for a long period of time not well the novelty is already worn off it's day to day i drive this every day to and from work wherever i need to go with an aftermarket exhaust as you might already know if you follow the channel but if not the exhaust that i am running is a miltech cat back resonated um, exhaust system so you've got the you've still got like the it's not a straight through pipe or anything you've still got the cat obviously like it's a cat back um, you've still got a back box with the twin exit exhaust coming out of that and then there is also a mid resonator that's probably why you can't really hear it that loud whilst I'm just in high gears cruising around which is a main thing for me that I did one now you think hold on a minute because the resonator systems are a bit more money Look, I did buy this second hand. I happened to buy a back box again because uh, the baffles went in there. But since then, it's been absolutely brilliant. I think why, but like I said, why would you pay more money for something that's going to be quieter? Now, like I said, this is my daily car. I didn't want to be like shouting about it everywhere I go, especially even when I'm not going that fast. Um, some people like that. Some people like it to just be sounding on it at all times but if i'm doing a lot of motorway driving it doesn't drone it never drones um, and all the like growly and the burbly sound is at the lower end which i wish it was at the high end as well but i think at high end it just sounds a lot more like the standard car just a bit louder but at lower end um it's a lot more grunty and it does sound modified it's just not shouting all the time it sounds really nice with like downshifts If I give it some like in uh, lower, like lower revs, just give it a bit. It still sounds grunty. I mean, if I if I put window down a little bit as well. You can definitely hear the difference. Definitely. Put them back up because you probably can't even hear what I'm saying with the wind. But yeah, if I'm doing fourth, and uh, if I'm at in fourth and doing 30, and I'll do like a, a down change. Can't hear it that much, but there is a which is one of the nicest sounds I think, especially with a naturally aspirated car. So day to day to live with, when it does little stuff like that, and sometimes, especially when I've got the window down, and I'm going like third to second, going into a junction or something, I do get little pops every now and then, which is cool. Which I have noticed more switching to Shell V power. Um, I, when I first got the car, I run standard fuel. Then I went to high octane um, BP Ultimate switch to that and then uh, the my local uh, petrol station then changed to Shell which is brilliant because I've always wanted to try Shell V power I don't think with Shell V power well, it might give you a, one or two extra horsepower something like that especially if it's a, a, a performance car but if anything the power delivery is definitely smoother and I get a lot more pops and burbles running on Shell V, uh, v power as well the engine's all nice and warm so I just do you a little pull from second um, just let you know, see how it, how it sounds. downshifting like I said it's more like at lower speeds which is quite nice because when you like at traffic lights and stuff people can hear that and you can hear it if you've got your window down because there's no wind noise performance wise I know they don't give you that much more and um, the fact that I've got it resonated as well it's not like a straight through pipe or anything I ain't got like a sports cat or a cat delete nothing like that um, so I know it hasn't got like maximum airflow that I could gain from an exhaust system but it's definitely better um, and less restrictive 
might be just placebo with the sound, but I'm sure through, if you took any kind of scientific measurement, you would gain a tiny, tiny bit of light responsiveness or power. And if anything, it sets you up more for if you did anything else to the car, like engine-wise. If you are experiencing driving through a nice bit where it's a bit at a higher speed limit and you've just got some little windies, it's nice to hear it and you can respond better to the car. Especially if you've got like some nice tunes blaring as you do when you're having a nice drive who don't like the music on unless they love the sound of their car, which every now and then that is a nice touch as well. I'm just gonna do a turn around here because I've got to go to work as well. Bubbles more when it gets a bit hotter as well, which is, which is good. A hot exhaust is always a nice sound in exhaust, I always think, because it's being used. Love downshift. Nice thing with being resonated as well is like on a start up, it's not too loud. It does still sound like a modified exhaust, but it's not horrific, um, especially on cold starts. <laughs> Just right, just right to not have your neighbours banging on your door saying what the friggin' hell you think you're doing going to a car show at 4 o'clock in the morning sounding like this, you blithering idiot. Now if you like at a track, like when we went to Mims and we went on the track at Rockingham, that were a different story. My car sounded stock, but I bet if it was on track on its own it wouldn't sound stock. Uh, it's just because there were a lot of really loud, straight through pipe exhaust systems that were like blowing mine away. Um, but in a, a day to day basis, which is this is my daily car, if I like a track car, then yeah, but I can definitely deal with it like this as well as my squeaky bait brakes. That's one thing with PBS pads, guys. I will recommend they are really, really good pads, but they're noisy as hell day to day. Having an exhaust physically, um, the main things I've noticed, especially as well running high octane, having a nice exhaust at the same time. I had a lot of spits on my um, chrome triangular tips, like the, the fascias around them. Um, so they need cleaning regularly. Um, but I suppose running the standard exhaust with high octane, they probably do the same thing. Or something about my car's not right. Either way, I don't mind how it sounds. It's nice in a tunnel as well, why not? Everybody's looking. <laughs> But yeah, having an exhaust physically as well, you've got to be mindful of speed bumps in, in some situations. For me, luckily, I haven't lowered my car yet or got any coilovers or anything like that, so I don't really have to worry about that, especially since I've sorted the under tray from Boeing. I hardly touch the speed bumps at all, only like really aggressive ones. But when that was scraping, I would try and avoid. And one time, I avoided to the left. Now the mid resonator hangs quite low on these. That's one thing you gotta keep in mind if you have a resonator system, is you've got a mid resonator that can hang quite low, and you can't have it any higher because it touches a heat shield. And then you're just gonna be getting the bottom of your car really, really hot. I mean, that's why that heat shield's there in the first place. But yeah, I went to like the right of a, a speed bump, and the mid resonator just went bah, and hit the ground, and I'm like, oh, oh. And once as well, driving onto my mum's drive, which I've done plenty of times with the standard exhaust. And then I did it with this resonated one, and the mid resonator literally just like scooped a lip going on, it just bang! And I'm like, oh my God, I've just got this on. Thank God it's not brand new. Otherwise, I'd be savagely crying. So guys, to sum this video up, pros and cons of having a modified exhaust. Cons 
more likely to hit the ground, especially if you've got a, res a resonating system. If you don't have a resonating system um, and you can't deal with the uh, the droning that's sort of loudness every day, that might annoy you, especially if you're going on motorway journeys. Pros, when you're gearing it some, even when you're not giving it some and you're just downshifting, it sounds shit off, especially if you like that kind of sound coming out of your car, rather than a quiet, standard, I want to blend in sound. Who wants that when you're driving cars like these? Nobody wants to blend in. Also, can hunt your performance, uh, car breathes better. Do I regret buying one? No. Would I recommend to get one as like your first, let's call performance mod? Yes, definitely. Transforms a car. And I think an exhaust, to me, is a modification that goes, I'm a car person, just to let you know. Plus, if somebody annoys you and you need to go round them because they've done something stupid in the middle of the road, like skirting through some red lights instead of the middle of the road, by the time you can get round them, you can just be like, I was annoyed with you. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed it just having a good chat with you about car stuff instead of complaining about other things for a change. I've got to go to work, so I will speak to you soon. Hopefully, um, I'll speak to you in the next video next week. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And click the little bell button to remind you when a fresh video comes on. And until next time, like you always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Shut you, Dave. Turn your music down. Oh, that's why you overtook me in the other lane. You're an overtaker, with no indicator, and your music's loud, and you've got an Astra. Bad boy Astra starter kit right there. I know you're not all like that, Astro owners. Just some. They give you a bad name. You are, you are.